Hey everyone, welcome to part five and the last episode of our Gun Barrel and Connie Sue Highway trip. We came across an old station called Premier Down Station. Unfortunately, there's not much left apart from these sheep yards. As you can see, it's quite harsh environment out here. Um, the land is quite stark and barren. The people that used to live out here were very brave people. Not really sure if I could live out here. As you can see, there's not much left of the homestead, which is actually quite sad to see. the fireplace is still standing. I think I mentioned in one of my previous YouTube videos that the chimneys or fireplaces are always the last bit standing. Came across the remnants of an old car. Well, the front of the car. Not sure where the rest of it got to. And the old clothesline. And there are still some cows roaming around the land, but I think they're probably the neighbour's cows. And of course, some kangaroos. Another mighty sunset at our camp spot that we just found in the middle of the bush. I must admit, we have actually found some quite awesome camp spots along the way, um, in the middle of nowhere and just randomly, just as we came across a bit of a clearing. Beautiful. We left camp this morning and headed towards Rawlinna. We explored this abandoned mine site just outside of Rawlinna. Um, it was so cool. We explored the whole mine site. Even went down into the mine pit and drove around there. It was really cool. Great views of the mine site.
and here we are driving down in the pit of the mine. Um, this mine site is not as spectacular and as deep as some of the other mine sites I have seen, but it has been so cool to drive around in it. We stopped in Rawlina for morning tea. Uh, no one lives here anymore. Rawlina is actually situated 900 k's east of Perth and is situated along the Trans-Australian Railway Line. The Indian Pacific stops here twice a week, once for dinner en route to Perth and once for breakfast en route to Sydney. As you can see in the background there are some barbecues where they cook the, the food and there are these long tables and chairs where the passengers sit at. I did a little bit of exploring while we were here. I walked through this old town hall. Apparently this horse lives here. He came for a bit of a, a visit and say hello and had a bit of a feed from everybody. We checked out where they hold the Nullarbor muster, which is just outside of Rawlina. They hold this every year in April and goes for two or three days. And you can actually camp here. I am sure we will get here one year. We are now on the Trans Access Road, which runs parallel to the Trans Australian Railway Line. And yes, we're still seeing burnt out cars along the way. And here we are travelling in the opposite direction from a freight train. We stopped off at a little siding for lunch called Xanthus. Now we come off the Trans Access Road and head for Kalgoorlie. 
Our last camp spot for this trip was just west of Kalgoorlie called Lake Douglas Campground. Very beautiful. Next morning we all separated and went our own ways and headed home. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed. If you would like to keep up to date with our travels, please like and subscribe and also check out our blog page. I'll put a link in the description below.